Guten Morgen. No it good? turns out that backflip bang was worse than I thought. Um, I just took these off to rest my knee, but I'm more or less on a wheelchair status. In case you missed yesterday's vlog, this is why Ewan walks like a grandpa today. Ready to see the young? Bill. <laughs> you have back problems. This is why we created the shirt, right? Yeah. We have you ready to, to see how it's done by the grandpa? Yanni looks nervous there behind the camera. You ready? Yeah. Ow! Oh! I'm too fat! <laughs> <laughs> so, so much for going back to 2010 vlog style, being young, like, good motivation though, to like, get my shit together and like, actually get good, but today, you're gonna join us, because we are gonna go travel, yes. and we're gonna go and pick up a car that we bought on an auction that I haven't seen yet. So, it's fun to do a vlog where we're, you know, just us going on a car buying mission. Yeah, I mean, it's weird not having the kids around, but I think things you don't have every day makes you appreciate them even more. Although I was kind of expecting I'd be like rocking it a bit more now that I said that we're going back to the good old like overkill days. Well, I was say, let's get to the gate because this Grandpa is gonna take longer. gonna go and buy a car. You know what I'm getting? Flashbacks. <laughs> Maybe not from the walking, yes. but from the travel vlogs. Yes, finally. Let's hope we will have as much fun with your leg than in the good old days. I wish we were buying a modern car with an <laughs> uh, automatic gearbox. That's my only concern right now. Please ensure your hand brakes does not block the aisle or exits. It must be put underneath the seat in front of you or into the overhead lockers. Welcome to London Heathrow. We'll be parking at Terminal 5. How are we doing? Well, sitting wasn't exactly doing things better. But we're good. We're here. <laughs> we're close. <laughs> so soon, cool. I'm going to see my dream car. Perfect. <laughs> a pair of crutches actually wouldn't be bad. Yeah, or a wheelchair for the grandpa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you can call me grandpa for real. This is how much I want this car. Normally, normal people, they would have like, hey, let's postpone this. <laughs> Screw that. Do you have any spare ones? We didn't order any. There's a spare one if anyone's happy to take you. Yeah, yeah, we got my friend here. Once they get to work. Thank you. Oh my God. I don't know if I was signing up for this, to be honest. <laughs> you signed up for an adventure, right? First you have to play with kids and then you have to push grandpa in the wheelchair. I think maybe I should see a doctor. Yeah, probably. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering what's wrong with uh, my knee, but it's fairly swollen and it hurts to straighten and uh, whatever. Let's focus on the car instead. <laughs> So we're gonna try to make our way out of Heathrow here. And then it is time. About yeah. time. It's really about time. It's about time, it's time. And we made it to the parking garage. And Monsieur David, who is wondering what the hell is wrong with us. It's an interesting look, man. It's an interesting look. And then we also just ran into a huge dilemma. We have additional wheels to choose for on this car. And they both look incredible. So what we're gonna see when we arrive might not be what we will depart with, but that we're gonna have to figure out. Where you wanna sit, in the front? But I'm still smiling. Okay, it's a right hand drive car. Who cares if you can't oh. walk? I don't have a Mwasi, you should be used to this by now. I'm, I only slept two hours, so I'm a bit... <laughs> Great, we, we have one like completely useless person and one that didn't sleep. <laughs> Mwasi is truly a good friend. Can't I get any closer than this? Yeah, relax, relax, seriously, like. I was telling Mossy that don't call me grandpa, I crush you in running, but now I guess he's right. Well, let's go check out that car. Very exciting stuff to be honest. So 
So, a bit of backstory. I've had a dream car 20 years, I'd want to say. Like, ever since I first saw the 993 GT2, it just always looked sick. No matter what came out, like McLaren's like, it, that was always one of them. And, and now, having had a bunch of cars, I thought it was time. Oh, here we go. Hello! Likewise. We've got a little bit of an injured Mr. Olsen, I'm afraid. <clears throat> I, I thought I was still young and I was going to do a backflip on the ground and, well, let's say it wasn't a whole backflip. What have you heard? Uh, my knee is pretty busted up. Can you drive? Depends on how hard the clutch is, but... Uh, <laughs> I mean, he came off the, the plane in a wheelchair, easy. so... I've been practicing the clutch movement and that seems to be fairly okay. But yeah, so I've been dreaming, I've been looking and thinking, if you remember when we were on Instagram, I asked, does anyone have any GT2 connections? Since then, me and David have nerded out harder than anyone's ever nerded out on GT2s. Um, I pretty much know every chassis number by heart, and we've been looking at every car there is. In the end, there was an auction about, what, two weeks ago? Two weeks ago, on a red car, and then, I get kind of competitive and I really wanted it. We actually ended up getting a car that's built exactly like a 993 GT2, but it doesn't have a 993 GT2 chassis number. But that also means that you're not paying a million and a half, meaning you can actually drive the car and use it. But I have never actually seen a 993 GT2 in real life. So let's see what we want on that auction. I think the normal GT2s, they're not nearly as cool looking as this. Wow. Wow. I mean, some cars are harder to shoot than others, but this is like... Let's show it. Look at this. It looks much cooler than I thought, and I had high expectations. So here you see the Evo front. Yeah. What do you think? I I'm speechless actually. You only get to know me when I became boring. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, I mean, the way it sits. So, yes. one of my favorite details of the GT2 is how the front fender here is not round. Yeah. It's fairly flat, yeah. which yeah. makes it sit so, yeah. so damn yeah. low. You know, you can build the GT2 in many different ways, but this is done properly. Mm -hmm. And if you look here in the back, it's got the full club sport. <laughs> Now we only have one important test to do. This was the first auction yeah. that I ever took part of. Okay, the moment of truth. Oh, no, no problem. <laughs> I've, I've, had, I've had way worse clutches. <laughs> Although we're gonna minimize the gear shifting. <laughs> David, I think you should start it because I want to hear it from the outside. I think a lot of people, they might have a, a car they really like and then they want to get a shirt to match the car, you know, because it looks cool. But as you know, we already had the shirt, so we actually get the car to match the shirt. And we haven't told you guys, but I think you knew by now that we are not normal. So as you saw, we're like doing a bit of packing because one of the reasons I didn't want to buy sort of a real GT2 is because they're collectibles, you don't drive them. So, since we bought something that's supposed to be driven, we are now going to jump in here, take the GPS, and put Paphos in Cyprus on the GPS, and see how this thing runs. A Great. perfect little 4,000 kilometer test drive. <laughs> Great idea. Yeah, it, it was a bad idea before this, now it's... Um, <laughs> at least then we'll know if... Um, if it's well built in 64 hours. <laughs> and we're gonna see how Moasi does it, the Autobahn at. Oh, yes. But yeah, we decided we're gonna keep the car exactly the way it is. Because mm -hmm. there was some black wheels, there was a black bigger wing, mm -hmm. but the other wing was straight across here. And I really, yeah. to me, the banana shape really yes, is that's, that's cool. 993. But yeah, since we're now all matched up, we're gonna see you guys tomorrow because now we're gonna do a little bit of series and you can follow us and see if we will be stuck in a German jail or if we're gonna make it successfully back home or if I go to the hospital. 
finally, finally someone that understood how to build the car yes. the way they should have been built from the beginning. I agree. Well, back to If the I had house. four thumbs, I'd give four thumbs up. But Good yeah. choice. Good choice. Now let's get this knee <laughs> warmed up. Let's go for some proper, like old school vlog adventure where you do things you really shouldn't be doing. <laughs> but damn, this thing is sexy. Visibility is limited. I can't see if there's police lights. <laughs> I can see the headlights. <laughs> <laughs>